Hogwarts Best Dressed: The Top Ten Most Fashionable Characters. Who are the Wizarding World's biggest style icons? Albus Dumbledore, the quintessential wizard. A luxurious robe commands respect. Something Albus Dumbledore, Hogwarts headmaster, understands all too well. A man of refined taste whose sartorial flair harks back to more genteel times. Dumbledore knows how to dress for both comfort and office. His signature look includes silk, velvet, and bold primary colors, usually topped off with a jaunty matching hat. Finally, delicate half-moon glasses sit on the end of his rather long nose, which he pulls off with great aplomb. Sybil Trelawney, dreamy and distracted. Sybil Trelawney takes her offbeat style in an interesting direction. With her mind so clearly fixed on other times and places, her look embraces a certain absent-mindedness that not many can successfully achieve. Trelawney's pale features complement her large, reflective glasses and preference for wild hair, shawls, and dreamy colors. The key to her aesthetic success: commitment. Luna Lovegood, the eclectic fashionista. Luna Lovegood's style is very quirky and experimental, something we might usually expect to find at the likes of many popular festivals. Her skill in throwing together color and seemingly random objects, such as radishes for earrings, reveals her innate creativity and love for of recycling. With masses of white blonde hair and large luminous eyes, Lovegood's look and style is distinctly unique. Severus Snape, all black, all the time. You can never go wrong with black. And Hogwarts potions master Severus Snape has embraced the slender, ebony-wearing aesthetic with great gusto. We simply cannot fault the clean lines of his outfits, nor the swirling robes that portray such subtle menace. His long, unwashed hair is in stark contrast to the rest of his look, communicating a certain nonchalant vibe that suggests him to be a serious man with little time for fashion. But as we said, you can never go wrong with black. Gilderoy Lockhart, gilded peacock, man with such taste. Gilderoy Lockhart has an obvious passion for beautiful fabrics, strong colors, gorgeous detail, and expense. Whoever his stylist is, give them a raise. Frankly, Lockhart's chiseled jaw. And well cared for physique will look fantastic wearing a bin liner. While he later latterly seems to have adopted a slight more vague persona, coincidentally, ever since he accidentally erased his own memory, we don't find it to be a distraction from his dashing good looks. If anything, it's accentuated them. Rita Skeeter, bold and sassy, much like her writing. Rita Skeeter's look is somewhat controversial. No look is too bold for the blonde journalist, who can rock shocking pink nails with banana yellow robes, like she simply threw it on. And the jeweled glasses, a pair of snappy heels, and a crocodile skin purse, and you've got yourself a strong fashion game. It's a risky play, and not for the faint of heart. But her flawlessly coiffed hair and poise makes this the ultimate look for all aspiring writers. Rubius Haggard, untamed style, in possession of a beard that would put most skinny jean wearing hipsters to shame, Rubius Haggard rocks a high quality moleskin overcoat that has seen considerable wear and tear, an aesthetic you can often buy but is better earned. This gamekeeper dresses for functionality and warmth in the chilly Hogwarts grounds, and has a fondness for pockets that we also share. Hagrid's untamed looks are refreshing and rebellious, in contrast to the traditional wizarding style. Here's hoping it catches on. Olympe Maxime, French chic. Olympe Maxime is everything we wish we could be: tall, gray hair, and undisputedly French. 
Her statesque presence always accentuated in the best possible way. Black being a consistent and classic choice, and let's not forget that power bob. Stylishly pulled back to reveal timeless opal jewelry, Maxime has a certain jeunesse size core about her look that we simply adore. Fred and George Weasley, coordination is key. One might argue that all models look the same, but Fred and George Weasley share a style and personality so similar they could easily be mistaken for the same person. Mischievous and laid back, the two pranksters usually favor everyday muggle wear unless they're doing business, then it's dragon skin jackets and crazy eye-catching colors. These two display a minimal interest in traditional wizarding fashion, which makes them an interesting entry to watch for future fashion exploits. Minerva McGonagall, the utilitarian. Sombre and no-nonsense, Minerva McGonagall is a champion for a more utilitarian style. Here is a woman with little time for her frippiers. Her personal look leans towards dark colors, respectable necklines, and fabulous witching hats. That being said, she appreciates quality materials and stylish cuts that are both timeless and flattering.